Have you ever had it before where you've opened your shed door to find your chainsaw sitting in a pool of oil? It's actually really common and you might be surprised to hear that there's probably nothing wrong with your saw whatsoever. But I'm going to cover the main reasons as to why that can occur and hopefully it's going to help you guys out at home. So I've had this saw sitting for 12 hours, 12 hours, and this is how much oil has leaked out of it. Get this off. Let me just show you firstly. The oil that's come out. Having a look underneath it, we can see it's all coming out here. It's all under here. We'll pop the clutch cover off. Pull this off. Bar and chain comes off. You can see it's covered in oil here. And also it's covered in oil all around here and it's leached down the side as well. It really is everywhere. I'm gonna move because we're gonna get eaten alive. So as you can see, just in that short period of time, it is losing a lot of oil. And you might be surprised to hear, there's actually nothing wrong with this saw at all. It's working just as it should, how it should. If you have a look in here, you can see the oil pump, and then you'll also be able to see the oil hose or the oil pickup hose. If the oil hose, of course, has any cracks in it, then that can leak. And if the joint between the oil pump and the hose is loose, then that can cause a leak too. So pop your clutch drum off, pull your oil pump off, and just double check that there's a nice tight connection between the two and the oil hose isn't damaged or cracked or embrittled. You can also develop cracks in the oil tank itself. This is made out of magnesium and an impact can cause a crack. It might be quite tricky to see, especially if it's somewhere on the underside, but that can of course cause a leak as well. Cheaper homeowner grade equipment will often have a plastic tank and you'll find that that can crack as well. So double check that there's no visible cracks anywhere around, in this case, the magnesium oil tank, or if you have a homeowner version, the plastic tank as well. So oil tanks have a one-way valve. And in this case, it's actually underneath this plate here. So I can't show it to you. But what can happen is if that's failing, it can allow oil to seep out and the same thing will occur. It can run down here and onto the base of the saw itself, especially if you're leaning onto its side and you notice that it's worse, then uh, that certainly could be the little valve. And it's all different on every machine, it's different. So you have to double check your service manual for instructions. In this case, you take the plate off, tap the valve through and install another one. Your one might be different, but it's certainly worth checking that that valve is actually doing its job and it's allowing air in, but not air back out. Or in this case, it will allow oil out. On the professional models of chainsaws that have a magnesium casing, they'll have a gasket between the two of them. If that gasket wears or is damaged or it comes unseated or rips, it's an unlikely occurrence, but if it does, that will cause oil to leak as well. So definitely check this seam if you have a professional saw, magnesium case, it runs all the way around and separates the two case halves. Double check that that's not leaking. There's no obvious weep there. One that's very obvious is it could be a tank cap O-ring. As you can see, this one has a black O-ring here. And if that one starts to wear down, uh, you'll find that that can cause a leak as well. They're very easy and simple to replace. You can get them online or at your local dealer and you'll find that that may very well just solve the problem if you can see oil is actually leaking down out of the cap area. Worst case scenario, you may have to replace the cap depending on the style. These flippy caps by Still, I don't like them and uh, they are a little bit prone to leaking, so bear that in mind as well. Although this one's quite unlikely, I'm gonna mention it anyway. If any of your case bolts come loose, there's about seven or eight that hold the two cases together. That can, of course, create a gap between the two case halves, and that can also cause a leak in your oil tank as well. You may notice, if that is the case, that you're gonna be sucking air as well. You may be burning oil. So there's normally accompanying symptoms if there are loose case bolts. The least of your problems is leaking oil, really. It really is. But uh, it's very unlikely. I've never heard of it, but it is a possibility. If those bolts haven't been tightened, if they've come loose, it can cause you to lose some oil. But I think they're gonna be much more troublesome issues and running issues that you're gonna run into first. The last two, I would say, are the most common causes of oil leaking from your saw. The first one is residual. There is a huge amount of oil that's getting pumped out of here as you're using the saw, and it covers all of these surfaces. And if you leave it over time, of course, gravity is gonna act on that oil and it's gonna run down and it's gonna sit in a pool. 
So just bear that in mind, give it a blow off after you've used it, remove the excess oil if you can, and uh, you may very well find that's all it is, just a little bit of residual oil that's leaking down and there's nothing there to worry about. And now the most common reason why chainsaws leak. It's very simple, it's down to atmospheric pressure. If you've got oil in your tank and you leave it outside and it's really cold at night time, that will create a vacuum inside the tank. Air will be drawn in through the one-way valve. And then during daytime temperatures, when everything warms up, that creates pressure inside the tank and it's got nowhere to go other than through the pickup, through the oil hose, through the oil pump, and then out through the oil channel and drillings all the way down onto the piece of card. I would suggest that is the overwhelming majority of the problems that people will have is simply just atmospheric pressure. The one-way valve, oil has nowhere to go other than being forced through the pump and out of the drilling. So if you want to avoid that, empty out your oil tank whenever you're not using your saw, or alternatively, turn it up on its side and crack the cap. That's all you've got to do. Just remember when you come back to it next, not to tilt it over because you're going to lose all your oil, but that's all you have to do. That will stop the pressure building up and you'll find that you won't have any leaks at all. So there we have it. It's very likely that just cracking that tank cap will solve all your issues. Try draining that oil out. And apart from that, running through those other steps that we've covered is more than likely going to solve your problem. So I hope it helps. Hope it saves you some money. And until next time, I'll catch you soon.